Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Daikon DeFesta Mini Edition. Um, I still like am trying to wrap my head around like what these are, but essentially Dispatch, which is sort of like a Korean media outlet, had their 10th anniversary and they held a huge ex exhibition and like exhibit hall and invited a bunch of K-pop groups and acts to come be a part of it and during that they released special photo books and mini editions and stuff like that so this is the mini edition i actually have the larger like monstrosity that they did um i actually unboxed this in an upcoming collective haul so we're not going to look at this today but you will see this coming up but we're going to be looking at the mini one today because this actually comes with a hundred photo cards and its own special like binder to put it in. So I thought I would do this video on its own rather than like coupling it into the collective haul I had planned or like unboxing it with the larger Daikon book because I figured it would be fun to unbox this and then um, sleeve and store all the photo cards into the binder that it comes with. So that's why it's its own little video so as you can see i have the bang chan edition they did separate these out per members of each group i personally think they should have just done full groups for everything for the big book for this mini edition because the only real difference between like member to member and between group to group is in each of your specified member edition you get like an exclusive photo card for them so for this Although there are 100 PCs in here, it's not all 100 Bang Chan PCs. It's a full group set of PCs. And then I get two exclusive Chan photo cards. And that's just kind of how it is, regardless of the group that you got. So if you got like BTSs, TXT, 17s, regardless of the member you got, you should be getting a full photo card set. It's just whoever's member's edition you picked you'll get exclusive photo cards for them. Hopefully that all makes sense. I'm still trying to navigate the whole like Daikon game because their Stray Kids are new to it this year. I know they've done some things with um, BTS and like Seventeen in the past, but this is Stray Kids' first time with them. So I'm trying to navigate it as best as I can. But we'll go ahead and open this. This is what the outer box looks like. I ordered this from K-Town for you and they arrived pretty quick which I was thankful for. They are the ones I ordered my Maxident case versions for and they're just like on it for shipping so I'm definitely gonna be ordering more stuff from K-Town because they just got their their sh their stuff together. All right so here are all the goodies inside. So this is the little exclusive binder that I talked about. These are the photo card sets. As you can see, all 100. It's kind of insane that they gave us 100 photo cards. And then these are the exclusive Chan photo cards. And then it does come with a little mini photo book. We'll go through that in a second. I think a lot of these photos, though, are going to be the same ones that are in the bigger Daikon book. So, yes. So that's everything that comes in the mini edition. One thing I do want to say, and I just need to get it out of my system, and then we'll move on from it, and we'll look at all the stuff. I'm sorry to whoever made this, but I hate the color and font choice that they chose. I don't know who decided that Stray Kids should be this orange and blue color, but could you reconsider for next year if you do it? Because I hate this color. I'm so sorry for any orange fans out there. Orange is arguably my least favorite color. I'm very sorry. And so the fact that their color scheme is primarily orange and it's paired with this blue, it's giving like middle school basketball vibes to me. I'm so sorry. Also, 
I think the font is atrocious. I don't know who picked this. Like the daikon and like the photos and concepts within this book as you'll see are like gorgeous, pristine, very classy, very like it just has a certain vibe and then bringing in like this whack font, this very stylized cartoon bubble like font is just like it feels camp and like not in a good way like you they just didn't succeed so it's like a combination of the colors and the font i hate it <laughs> i'm so sorry i do i really really hate it orange just like does not st scream stray kids like we couldn't have gotten like red or black or white or just like any kind of like nice pastel color like if you look at all the other groups who have like the mini editions, they all make sense and they all look really nice. Like Twice's is Twice, like it fits their concept. NCT's looks really nice, they're the green. Like every other group is just kind of like feels like it matches. Whereas like Stray Kids, it doesn't match. Like we couldn't have gotten this like nice pink background or even just like if the blue, like if we got this blue with a lighter blue, just like from a designer's perspective, I just don't think that like this concept and this goes together. Like it just does not mesh in any sort of way. It kind of does in like this black and white. Like I don't mind it here. And I think it's because it's doing a crazy thing in a monochrome color scheme. But when you have crazy with like crazy, it just doesn't tend to work unless like that's what you're playing off of. But there's obviously like two conflicting stylistic choices going on and I just don't think it was very successful. I just don't like it. I'm very sorry to say. Regardless though, <laughs> I am excited for the photo cards because I don't really think they follow the pattern much of the design choice. So even though I don't like like the exterior, I'm excited for the rest of it, but that is something that I wanted to talk about and point out because I can't just sit here and be like and praise it and be like oh my gosh this is so cute and so fun because I like design wise do not like it and do not enjoy it and I feel like it's good to kind of give the constructive criticism for things that you buy especially in the k-pop world it's all consumer and like market based so giving like opinions <laughs> about it I feel like are valid because I bought the thing and if I'm not happy with it I feel like I should be able to say that so I've said my piece we're gonna move on from it we're gonna get into the more fun unboxing but I just wanted to give my two cent designer perspective I wish they would have just done simpler colors I wish they would have just stuck to nice like classy font choices I get they were probably trying to do something fun because I think it is to kind of like celebrate the 10th anniversary of Dispatch, but I'm not sure this was the way to go. <laughs> now that we've said all of that, let's go ahead and start with the photo book first and then we'll get into the thing that I think we're all excited about is just seeing all the photo cards and storing them honestly. So let's do photo book first. Okay, so here is the photo book. Like I said, I think that this is going to be pretty similar to the larger book that has already come out. Um, like I mentioned, I did unbox it. It's coming in a collective haul. Uh, spoiler alert though, I wasn't overly impressed with it essentially, <laughs> with the book and with the layout and when that video comes out, you'll kind of see why, but I just had a lot of issues with how they designed the book and their um, their placements of the photos. So I, I don't have like the best hopes for this photo book, but I'm open to have my mind changed. I didn't know this was going to be coming so soon, otherwise I may have just waited and opened both of the both of these together, but this shipped way faster than I had anticipated. So I will say that these photos are very, very, very nice. I think they just, they look so good. Yeah, see, so this is one of the issues that I had kind of talked about in regards to the larger book is they just didn't really account for 
the gutter when it comes to laying out an image to both pages and it just like gets sucked into the middle so you get weird proportions on photos so I don't love that it creates a lot of like distortion in the photos and just is not the best so I think they definitely could learn to lay this out a little bit better or use a different kind of binding next time or just not do full spread photos. Yes, a lot of these photos are very similar to what I've already seen and also just like are what in the general like promotional photos like these photos are kind of everywhere so it's a lot of the same kind of things but still still very nice to look at I think the styling that they did is really nice so they've got that going for them Ooh, this is really cool. I really like that shot. It looks very dynamic. I just, I just hate this, like, it, this full spread choice. Like, <laughs> they make our short kings look shorter than they already are. Like, I'm, so, I'm sorry to say, but it just makes them look so short. <laughs> they don't need that. <laughs> Obviously I say that coming from a good place, but I just... Who decided that? <laughs> it also just like, I could have gotten the same effect with it just full this way, you know? I don't know. I feel like I've been very harsh when it comes to these Daikon books. I was even, I feel like even worse in when I was talking about it in the collective hall. But I just think if you're a company at this large of a scale, you should be able to create content and produce materials that are high standard, especially for the price tag that you attach it to. So, and I think I just get a little bit more worked up because I personally know kind of like what goes into the printing and layout process and like how easily a lot of these like gutter mistakes could be avoided. And it just kind of sometimes feel like these companies throw these items together for all of these groups because it's like people are going to buy it. So, you know. It doesn't matter all the time how quality controlled the items produced are. I don't know. The more into like K-pop I get and more into like merchandise and products, I kind of like see past the like veil that kind of gets thrown on you when you first get into it. So I'm, I'm moving into my little bit of like cynical K-pop era, I think, where I want my money to be put towards good quality things and I just don't know, I don't know if this is it. And I feel like that's like totally okay to like talk about and to bring up as I said, because at the end of the day, even though I'm a huge fan of this group, I still feel like, you know, I should be able to voice my concerns and my thoughts about things they're a part of and it's not like I'm indirectly saying like this is all Stray Kids fault because you know they just showed up took some pictures and took that check home they were in no part in charge of putting together their book but it is something as a fan's job I think to like call out the companies who make this stuff and just be like hey maybe try and do better next time <laughs> Regardless though, these photos are very, very nice. I do think they painted and photographed the boys in a very, very good light, so. Cute, very nice. 
So that was the photo book. We're also going to move past cynical Jess. <laughs> We're going to get into the fun stuff, hopefully. I'm sorry I'm a little bit ranty today, but you know, sometimes it be like that. <laughs> Let's move on to the main event, which are going to be the photo cards and the little binder. So as you can see, Bang Chan is on the cover of my binder because as I've said, I did get Bang Chan's edition of this. This is what the binder looks like. I will say this picture on the front of Chan is so, so cute. I think it's a really adorable picture that they chose is what the spine looks like and the back and inside we have all of these sleeves i am assuming it's enough sleeves to hold all of these cards i mean i would surely hope so but just big binder it looks like yeah so these sleeves are only one sided so you just and they're side loading i will say the quality of like these sleeves feels really nice. It's like that nice thicker plastic. So I will say I am kind of impressed with like the quality of these sleeves. It, they are still just like glued into the binder. So I don't know like as far as longevity if this will last like forever. But for now... I think it's gonna be it looks okay i think it would have been nicer if it would have been like a standard like three ring binder like if they could have made that a possibility i think that would have been really really nice because then you know you could use this binder for other things rather than just like to store these cards but i think it's a nice sentiment that they even give you this to begin with considering they also give you a hundred photo cards to put into the binder so that's nice before, let's see, before we get into that, how about we look at the exclusive photo cards. I'm like shaking it like it's like a ramen seasoning packet or something. I, so this is sealed. I guess I'll cut this. I don't want to, I guess I could rip it, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to cut it. Okay. Oh, cute! So the photo card is the one, is the photo that's on the cover. And then we have this little lenticular card, which is kind of trippy in real life. It's, it's very like 3D, which I know that's like what a lenticular is, but I feel like most of the time lenticulars are like, it goes from like one photo to another, where this just like makes it look like <laughs> it's like a 3D photo. Get a closer look of that. That's such a cute photo card. I will say the old, like the saving grace for the bigger like Daikon book is I was in love with the photo cards that was included with that. It came with four photo cards and a group PC. And those photo cards were some of like the best photo cards ever. Like they were so, so cute. I have high hopes for, for these. And then here is what the back looks like. Just black with the white text. These are thicker. They kind of feel like Lucky Draw thickness. And I'm pretty sure this is like PVC. So those are the two exclusive photo cards. And then we will go through these. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Because like I said, there are a hundred. So I guess we can just flip through all of them. It may take a minute, but I think that's what everyone would prefer is to just kind of sit through and look at all the photo cards that we get. So <laughs> there is that. We'll start with this first. I am assuming this is going to be like the Hyung line first. So yes, a huge array of photo cards. I think I'm gonna go through Chan's and show you like the front and the back, just so you can kind of see. And then we'll just flip through the rest of them because I assume they're all gonna be the same to one another's cards. So we'll start with Chan's. Oh, so. It'll say Stray Kids 
on the back like that. That's kind of fun. Ooh, I like this picture. This is a nice picture of Chan. You know me. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know I love blonde Chan. If, if his hair wasn't on the brink of death, I would request the blonde to come back, but my man's hair <laughs> needs a solid break. But I, I'm always going to be a blonde Chan fan. So we get a mixture. It seems like we get a mixture of kind of like concept, nice press photos, and then also some selfies now. So that's nice that it's all not just like one type of, one type of photo. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> oh, so good, so good. Wow, these, I, I really, I have to give, I, I know I've like kind of really shitted <laughs> on like the book and the design, but I do have to give them props for the photos that they picked for the members because these are just some top tier pictures that they chose for them. Wow, there's actually quite a lot of photo cards for each member. Like I know there's gonna be a lot because there's a hundred, but this is way more than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, adorable. Those are so cute. Every time I like, I swear, like I keep pulling more cards, expecting it to be the last one. And it just like kept going. Cute. Okay, so let's see, let's count out really quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So there's 12 cards per member. Wow, that's actually, that's pretty impressive. Now we're just gonna flip through the rest of the members cards yeah these are some these photo cards are very very nice cute cute It's nice too that they give you like the full group because could you imagine like if they had separated this out per member like say you got like a hundred photo cards of that sole member that would be that would be crazy <laughs> like a hundred photo cards of just Chan from one item like I I wouldn't complain necessarily but that that's kind of like a wild concept to think about so I'm kind of glad it's full group <laughs> Oh, that's such a cute, cute picture of Benny. Oh, so cute. I love that you can kind of see him in the corner there. <laughs> oh, I love when they like have silly little poses. Wow. Benny's is so cute. I always love that he like does a lot more of the like cutesier poses compared to the other members. He's just adorable. I love him. Okay, Hyunjin. Ooh, whose hand is that? <laughs> Wow, this looks exactly like his um, bigger uh, photo card. I know like a lot of these selfie ones are very similar to the like bigger selfies from the big book. So it's almost kind of like, it's kind of nice where like, if you chose not to get the big daikon book, but you got this instead, you're kind of like not really missing out in terms of photo cards because these are very, very similar to 
what comes in the other one i'll go ahead and like pop up a photo but these are very very similar so it's kind of nice that you could have gotten like one or the other and still gotten like similar looking photo cards oh cute oh and then hans is separated out so let's move on to the second pile Wow, that's a nice picture. He looks like so sun-kissed and glowy. <laughs> and then the little pink wa- pink wout? Wink? Pout? <laughs> is what I meant to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like- I feel like Jisun's poses are always like the funniest. So good, so good. I ran out of storage, but we're back. <laughs> so, continuing with Felix. Ooh, ooh. Oh, cute. I feel like it's been so long since I've seen like blonde Felix. I mean, we still had him at the beginning of this year, but it just feels, I think I'm more accustomed to the dark hair now that seeing him blonde is like weird now. Where before I felt like when I saw the dark hair, I it felt weird to me. I think I'm adjusted finally to the, to the dark hair Felix. <laughs> Sung Min. These like behind the scene pictures are kind of cool. I kind of like them. <laughs> For some reason this, this feels like a very, I, I don't know how to describe it. This just feels like a very like personal photo like some that he would just like send to the to the group chat or something I don't know there's just there's just like a different vibe about it do you kind of does that even make sense like do you see what I mean this is just like I like this photo card it just has like a very different vibe to it <laughs> cute 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 okay Last we have Ian and I think there's some group ones here at the end. <laughs> that is the cutest picture. Whoa. <gasps> Cute. I feel so proud of Ian. I feel like he's really, really grown this year. Like, grown into himself more. And it's just been, like, a joy to see. Cute. Alright, and now it looks like we have a couple group PCs. Oh, that one is so cute. They're all smiley. That's what the back of that one. So, different style. Ooh, and then this one. So, you actually got this same PC in the bigger, in the bigger book. So, this is a bit, this is a duplicate PC. And it looks like, oh, I didn't show the back of that one. Where's the back? And then it looks like we got two different group PCs. Cute. Cool. All right, so that was all 100 <laughs> photo cards. Woohoo. And actually, let me pull out here. 
I guess technically 102 <laughs> with the special, the little special PCs. So, okay. Now that we've looked through all the PCs, next what we're going to do is I'm just going to store them in the binder because I want to see, first of all, if they all fit. Um, and then second of all, just kind of like how, how it fills up, like how it holds all the cards because I assume it's going to like, I don't know, it looks small to me a little bit. So I'm just curious to see like how it bulks up and whether or not it like is going to be pushing it or if it's actually going to like close nicely. So in order to do that though, um, because I don't know like what type of material these sleeves are made out of and maybe it says like on the product description and I just like missed it. I do want to sleeve these photo cards because I am going to leave them in here for now. Maybe like if I feel the need I'll like change it to a different binder but I think since they gave me a binder I might as well put them in here for now but I do want to sleeve these photo cards because like I said I don't know what these sleeves are made out of and to do that I'm actually going to be testing out the popcorn sleeves I have been seeing these everywhere like everyone's been really hyping them up and like really been using them a lot and so I really wanted to try these out because this specific size is supposed to be like a slim fit like very tight fit sleeve and so I felt like it would work really well in this pocket because I think there isn't a lot of wiggle room yeah so I didn't think like the normal, my, my normal sleeves were going to work, like the size would have been too big. So I was looking to see like what I could get for this and I was like, well, why don't I try out the popcorn sleeves and test them out and see whether or not I like them. So I got them. You can order them through, so there's like a little website where they're from, it's right here. Um, I actually just ordered these off of eBay though because I was already ordering a bunch of other sleeves and these popped up and they were relatively inexpensive. I've seen these go for like $10 which is not how much they should be going for. I think I've heard that like on the, the popcorn website they're like a dollar basically so I wasn't gonna about to pay $10 for sleeves that are normally $1. But I found them on eBay for a really cheap price, so I got a couple. And my first impression, just taking them out, is it actually feels really nice. It's kind of like a thicker material, sort of like the Dragon Shields are. And that's what I normally use, is Dragon Shields. So, first impression is it feels really, really nice. And as you can see, it is a very like slim fit photo card sleeve so I really like it and then just for size it's a little bit of a tight fit but it fits in there I'd rather it be a little bit of a tight fit rather than it not fit at all so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly go through and sleeve everything and then we'll come back and just sort of figure out how we're gonna store everything. Okay, so I have everything sleeved now, and overall, first impressions, I love these sleeves. I totally understand the hype now. These sleeves are so nice. Like, it's so easy to slide the card in. They feel really high quality and really nice. I definitely think I'm going to grab a lot more packs of these because I... I really enjoy these. These are very, very nice. I'm very impressed. 
So I've been going through and sorting out all the cards and figuring out kind of like the order that I want everything in. And I'm starting to realize that either I don't know what pattern or like what order these cards are supposed to go in or some of the cards have been misprinted because how I'm kind of doing it is I'm kind of trying to separate them all by like the background and also like where they are. So for example, I wanted this set where they're all very clearly like in the exhibit hall and like looking at their section and like their booth and stuff. And if you look at the back, all the cards are like mismatched. Like I don't know if they're supposed to alternate because like Jongin and Sungmin work, it says Stray Kids. Han and Felix work, it says Stray Kids. But all the other members <laughs> just say Stray, but they're very clearly in the exhibit hall. So what, what cards are these supposed to pair with? I've noticed that with these two, these cards, I like, I'm just kind of, I'm confused by the order. So I think I'm still gonna do it by like vibe on the front because I care more about the front than the back right now. But I just like, I kind of don't understand what the order of all of these was supposed to be. So I don't know if that's like a mistake or I just really am lost in terms of my organization, but we're going to have a little bit of mismatch patterns on the back. So that'll be interesting to see. Okay, so I just went and figured out the order in which I want everything laid out and I've separated them into piles. This is where it kind of gets fun and it's going to be unique for everyone is you're going to be able to store and like organize these however you want. And I think like just going and seeing other people's um, storing for these and just seeing how they choose to like separate them is going to be really, really cool and interesting. But this is how I've kind of decided how I'm going to do mine. And obviously you're going to see it a little bit more as we actually start to put the cards in. But how I decided to separate them is I'm going to do all of the group PCs first and then I'm going to do all of the like set shots for each member that all look the same. Then I'm going to do sort of like the behind photo and selfie that like correlates with it and do that for every member. Then I'm going to do these and do a blue and an orange one and then do all the rest of the orange ones. And then just do the selfies, the exhibit selfies, and then we'll do these like music video shot ones last because these stylistically are not my favorite. So we'll just put them <laughs> at the end. So this is the sequence for now. So let's grab the binder and stuff them in. I do wanna mention really quick as like, I guess sort of like a little disclaimer. So I had initially started to put the PCs in and I was really, really struggling to slide them in. It was just like a really, really tight fit. And I was just like, I was just really struggling. There's a lot of air pockets. I was almost like forcing the cards to go in and I was getting worried that I was going to like rip or damage the binder by doing so. So what I found out is these sleeves are like the perfect width but height wise, they're literally like a millimeter too long. Um, it was the length that was like preventing me from easily being able to slide them in. What I did is I just spent the last hour just going through and just trimming off like basically a millimeter's worth of length on all of these sleeves so I could more easily slide them in. So I'm not even sure if you're really going to be able to see, but I literally just went and like trimmed off 
a millimeter's worth of the sleeve. I think if you can find sleeves that are like 86 or like 85 millimeters, that would be like the ideal perfect size to use for these. I should have just done a better job of like research. This is like all on me. <laughs> I should have just like made sure that the sleeves were actually going to fit. I had just assumed that they would because these are kind of considered like perfect fit sleeves and so I was like oh it'll just fit in there nicely but it was just like too tight of a fit that I was getting worried that like like I said I was going to damage the the binder or the photo cards and I just would have had so much of a struggle going through the entire binder trying to put all of the cards in so I made the decision of like trimming my sleeves which is a big task but I was okay doing that um, I didn't want to delay this video by like waiting to order the correct size sleeves and I'm most likely going to keep these photo cards in this binder for a while so I don't mind that like maybe my cut job on these <laughs> isn't perfect. Yeah I just wanted to mention that in case like I said you were using my video as like a guide. These sleeves are amazing. I love them but they're probably like not the best size for this. So just a little heads up. I fixed it though so now we're ready to go and I can more easily slide them in and just have that satisfaction of just going through all of them. So let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start with the group PCs first. I'm probably still going to struggle putting these in a little bit just because handling this binder is still just like a little bit awkward. It's not quite heavy enough to like be able to stay in one place. So I'm probably going to struggle a little bit, but not as bad as I was struggling an hour ago. So there we go. That is the first page. All right, and next we'll move on to this section. So how I divided these up is I decided that I was going to do all the same concept for this for one member. So I went ahead and pulled out all the photo cards where all the members are in the same outfits and that equates to three concept PCs and then a selfie and then I figured I could just put them all on one page. I wish they would have just done a, the singular Stray Kids like they did for the group PCs on all of them so then like you wouldn't have to worry <laughs> about like making sure it actually reads how it's supposed to. They still could have done the different colors I think that's fun but I wish they would have just done the single stray kids so if you know me i'm kind of particular about like my binders and making sure that like everything matches but i'm kind of like gonna sacrifice that a little bit because i would rather have the photo cards laid out in a way that is aesthetic to me and makes sense regardless if the back matches or not so we're just gonna have a little bit of a mismatch <laughs> with the backs but i think in the long run, having them organized on the front the way that I would like is just, it's better overall. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit backwards in some places, but eh, we're going to get over it. So now I'm just going to go through and do the rest of this section and put all the photo cards in. So we finished up that section and some of them actually ended up did kind of aligning correctly, which is fun. All right, so next for these ones, what I did is I went ahead and found these sort of like on set backstage music video type photos. And then I found the selfies that they're in the same output with and I figured I could put each member's on a page together because most of them match up really well with each other. So I wanted to pair these together. So I thought they worked nicely. Like I think these look so good together. So 
so they look just like that. And look, Chan's matches, <laughs> Lino's doesn't. So I would love to like <laughs> just chat with whoever was in charge of making the backs of these and be like, what was your plan? Like, what was the original um, <laughs> organization of these supposed to be? All right, we're getting a little full. We're now directly in the middle of the binder. And this is what this half looks like. I don't even think we're really halfway through the PCs or maybe we are, but it's getting a bit stacked over here. The sleeves obviously add some thickness to it too. Here's what it looks like closed right now. It is holding up well for right now. Okay, next I decided to put in these little frame cards. And for these, I did actually have the option of being able to match up the backs. So they should say Stray Kids all the way through these. And I just picked out two of each member in their colors. And so they would also say Stray Kids on the back. I did it backwards. <laughs> yeah, man, my brain. <laughs> that's like confusing with my, that's confusing on the brain. And then I think the last four are pretty self-explanatory. I just kept all of the sets the same amongst like what the photo was. So let's hurry and finish this up. Okay, and it looks like you have one more page, I guess, if you wanted to put your exclusive cards here. Like so. I probably won't keep these in here. I'll probably put them in like my Chan special A5 binder. So I'll just have one extra page in here, but whew, these, this is thick now. Let me see if I can kind of push some of the air out in between these sleeves. But yeah, so this is what it looks like <laughs> when you have sleeves. Obviously, the sleeves is going to add some thickness. Um, like I said before, though, I would worry about putting these in without sleeves. So I think I would just, I'll just deal with the bulk, even though it doesn't like close very nicely. I mean, I don't want to force it because I don't want to like damage the PCs. I wonder if there's like a better solution though. Like I said, I, I kind of wish they had made these like ring binders instead of like glue-in binders. I don't know. Maybe I'll eventually I'll switch this to my own kind of binder. But for now, I guess it works. Should we do a proper flip through so we can see the spreads? Like, it can't even, like, <laughs> fully open right. I think these are, like, my favorite that I put together. I just think it looks so nice and cohesive. And these are some of the my favorite photo cards from the set. So, I think it worked out well, even though it doesn't doesn't match on the side here. 
Also, I I think Felix's is like one of my favorites, favorite spreads here. There, now it can lay a little bit more flat. <laughs> All right, and that's everything. Let's flip to a page where it can kind of sit flat nicely. Should we do this one right in the middle? All right, so that was my unboxing of the Daikon mini binder, mini set. I, again, I still don't quite, quite know what it is. Just the Daikon DeFesta mini edition, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I realized this was a bit more of like an honest and probably like more brutal review and unboxing than I normally do. But as I mentioned, you know, as a consumer, I do think it's good to give feedback, whether or not it's really heard in this context is, you know, to be determined. But I do think it is good to give honest opinions sometimes, especially with like merch items like this, because you can kind of gauge and like be able to tell people whether or not you think it's worth the money or not. I think if they do this again next year I might be a little bit more like uh thoughtful in deciding whether or not to purchase it. I do really enjoy the photo cards but that's about all I really get out of this especially with the big Daikon book too. All I really got out of that was the photo cards so if they do this again I may or may not purchase it. I'll have to see if the theme, if I like think the theme of them is going to be a little bit better, I might jump on it, but I'm a little bit on the fence as to whether, <laughs> whether or not I would purchase them again. Again, I do love having so many new photo cards, but at the same time, I don't know what to do with all of these now. They're really fun to look at, but getting a hundred new photo cards all at once is quite an experience. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go. Let me know if you got this and if you have similar thoughts or if you think completely differently and actually love this. I would love to have a conversation with you in the comments. Um, I know a lot of people have really missed my storing photo card video, so hopefully this was like a small little taste of getting back into it. I do plan on uploading a couple of storing photo card videos before the end of the year so be on the lookout for that like i said i know people have been missing it i get messages and comments all the time asking me when my next storing photo cards video is and it's coming i promise anyway i really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye